All right, so we have this um, surface integral of a vector field that we want to compute. So this is the vector field right here, and the surface is the part of this paraboloid, this downward facing paraboloid, z equals six minus x squared minus y squared uh, over the square, x goes from zero to one and y goes from zero to one. Okay, and we want to find the integral uh, of this vector field over the surface, or this could also be the flux of the vector field over the surface, as is another terminology. Okay, now remember one important part um, when you're dealing when you're dealing with um, with surface integrals of vector fields is that orientation matters. So in addition to this information, I also need to tell you what the orientation is. So the orientation I'm going to say with outward orientation. So with outward. orientation. Okay, so I'll explain what that means in a little bit, and this is what we want to compute. Okay, so this, the way, the way this is defined is this is the surface integral over s of the scalar valued function f dotted within ds. f dotted within is a scalar valued function, so this f this integral right here is the integral of a scalar field over the surface. Okay, now what is n? n is the normal vector. Okay, and it needs to be consistent with the orientation. So if it has an outward orientation, the normal vector needs to be pointing outward. So what does that mean? So let's look at a uh, cross section of this paraboloid. It's gonna be something like this. This means we want the outward pointing normal vector, so it's going to be something like this, okay? The inward pointing normal vector would be the other way. Okay, so when a surface is parameterized, the normal vector, okay, so if, um, I just needed some more room there, okay? So how do you compute the normal vector? Well, the normal vector is computed this way. So let's say uh, you have a parameterization R of ST, and the normal vector is rs cross rt divided by the magnitude. Okay, now this isn't exactly true. The normal vector is either going to be this vector or negative of this vector. Okay, if you do this, if you do the cross product in one direction, you're going to get the outward pointing normal vector. If you do rt cross rs, you're going to get the inward pointing normal vector. So in practice, basically, you have to compute this and then see if it's the right normal vector. If it's the, the right one, good. If it's not the right one, you're going to have to just multiply it by minus one, and you'll see that in this problem here. Okay, so now what do we need to do? Well, one way that we can compute this, um, given this fact, this is going to be the integral over s f dotted with rs cross rt over the magnitude of rs cross rt times rs cross rt ds dt. And sorry, this is not over s, this is over the parameter domain d. Okay, but we're going to think about this integral first and then think about this one. Okay, so step one is we need to compute the normal vector. And really, step zero is we need a parameterization. So a parameterization for this is a graph of a function. So we'll say r of x, y is equal to x, y, 6 minus x squared minus y squared. And it's going to be x goes from 0 to 1 and y goes from 0 to 1 because it's the part of this paraboloid over this square, so the projection of this shape onto the xy plane is just this square, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, it's a paraboloid, so you might be thinking you should be doing this with cylindrical coordinates, um, and that's not so bad, but the parameter, since the parameter domain is a square, I think it's best to keep it with Cartesian coordinates. I think you'll have trouble doing this with, um, with polar coordinates. Okay, so Rx is equal to 1, 0, minus 2x, our y is equal to 0, 1, minus 2y. Um, and so I will let you guys verify this, that the cross product, rx cross ry, um, is equal 
to 2x, 2y, 1. Okay, now I want to determine uh, whether or not this gives the right outward pointing normal vector. Okay, so the idea is I'm just going to pick one point in the domain. So let's say x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Then this cross product becomes 0, 0, 1. Okay, so now let me draw a cross section of this a paraboloid again. So let's say this is x, this is the z-axis, this is 1. So we're going to have the part of the paraboloid that is just above this part right here. So it's this part of the paraboloid, okay? Uh, and this is equal to 6. And that's uh, if, if um, the paraboloid is z equals 6 minus x squared minus y squared. So if z is equal, uh, sorry, if uh, x and y are both equal to 0, z is equal to 6. Okay, and the normal vector at that point is 0, 0, 1. Okay, that's the rx cross ry vector is 0, 0, 1. That is pointing up in that direction, which is the outward direction. Okay, so the outward pointing normal vec vector at this point is going to be the upward pointing normal vector. All right, and that is exactly what we get here. So this is the outward pointing vector. Okay, now I, I know that might have been um, a lot to follow, but just think about what I'm saying here. Okay, we want the orientation that we're given is an outward pointing orientation. That means we want the normal vector that's pointing outward. Okay, this is one formula, one possible formula for the normal vector, though it's not normalized. Okay, so we just want to see whether it's outward pointing or inward pointing. So we check it on one point because if it's out, so if it's outward pointing for one choice of parameters, it's going to be outward pointing for all of the parameters. So just pick a value of x and y and test it. If it's the outward pointing normal vector at that point, then it's the outward pointing normal vector at all of the points. Okay, and now you can see that the magnitude of rx cross ry is equal to the square root of 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 1. Okay, now like I said, with just fill in things one by one. So the normal vector is going to be this divided by that. So we've got this part, we've got this part, okay, Rx cross, uh, Rx cross Ry, we have that. The magnitude, we have that. Now we need to compute, now we need to compute what F is in the parameterization. So this is f, my parameterization, x is equal to x, y is equal to y, and z is equal to 6 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay, so that means that in this parameterization, f uh, is going to be xy, y times z, z is 6 minus x squared minus y squared, and then zx, so this is x times 6 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay, now we need to compute f dotted with the normal vector. So f dotted with n is going to be equal something divided by 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 1. And the something is going to be this f vector, this vector, dotted with this vector, okay? So this is going to be 2x squared y plus 2y squared 6 minus x squared minus y squared um, plus x times 6 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay, this is the f dotted within part. Okay, so finally, this integral, we can fill this stuff in the integral. Okay, the parameter domain d is going to be x goes from 0 to 1, y goes from 0 to 1. Okay, now what are we going to have? What's the integrand going to be? It's going to be this, this is f dotted within, times the magnitude of rs cross ry, or of rx cross ry, which is just equal to this. So the integral that we end up with is 2x squared y plus 2y squared 6 minus x squared minus y squared plus x times 6 minus x squared minus y squared <laughs> dy dx, okay? 
and I will let you do this integral um, and you can verify that it is equal to 1133 over 180. Okay, but, but again, the major part is just to get to this integral right here and just go through very carefully and just fill in what everything is. The integral of a vector field over a surface, orientation matters, is defined in terms of the integral of a scalar field over the surface. Okay, you just have to make sure you pick the right normal vector because the formula for the normal vector is RS cross RT over the magnitude. This is either going to give you plus, it's either going to give you the right normal vector or it's going to give you the negative normal vector. Then you have to, once you get this formula, you have to check to make sure that you have, make sure you have the right normal vector. If you have the wrong normal vector, all you have to do is multiply it by minus one, and that's going to be the right normal vector. But if you don't do that, your answer is going to be off by minus one. 